A Campbell River aviation firm is flying high on the work they just finished on a major restoration. Sealand Aviation has brought an historic DC-3 back to life, and as CTV's Gord Kerbis shows us, after two years on the ground, the vintage bird is finally getting a chance to stretch its wings. After two years of hard work and a few successful test flights, a significant piece of aviation history is back in the skies. It has a terrific history. It was manufactured by Douglas in 1943 and delivered in 44. It flew the hump. The hump is uh, Himalaya delivered, Carter, including to uh, fighting forces during World War II. The DC-3 was actually a C-47 when it was built, and it's gone through a rich history, including being flown in the South Pacific as well as carrying passengers as part of Pan American. Airlines. At one point, it was also owned by the Johnson & Johnson Drug Company. With so many past lives, picking one for its ongoing legacy is difficult. Well, it was so many different ways over the years uh, that we picked a, a year of 1949 uh, to reflect the exterior uh, with the Pan Am scheme. And then the interior, we decided to leave as the chairman of the board of Johnson & Johnson had it. That interior was quite luxurious for the era, containing everything an important executive would desire. It's massive club chairs and uh, end tables uh, with lamps that bolt to them and even telephones. And uh, of course, these are not satellite phones. These are telephones that the chairman used to complain about turbulence to the pilot. <laughs> The aircraft was purchased by the Historic Flight Foundation in Everett, Washington and brought from New York to the West Coast. It's been in Campbell River for close to two years, being restored by crews at Sealand Aviation. The aircraft was in Victoria and uh, John had uh, some work done on the aircraft there and then it ended up in kind of limbo. So uh, through a friend of a friend sort of thing, he gave me a call and asked if we could get the airplane out of there and get something done with it. Now that the restoration work is finished, Sealand is hoping this high-profile job will lead to others. It, it was a great project I and mean, everybody loved working on it. It's pretty satisfying when you see something like this take off and, and, you know, and have the confidence to load it up with your crew and half of the airport authority board and take them for a flight. The aircraft is now in its permanent home next to Boeing Field near Seattle and flights are available to members of the foundation. For more information on their activities, you can log on to historicflight.org. Gord Kerbis, CTV News, Campbell River.